How you doing, sir? <laughs> Just fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing outstanding. Before we get started, uh, you wanted to share a story as to an event that took place. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, 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 uh, that was. Uh, I will do so. It was uh, two men were seemingly arguing a few tables away from me. The argument was that God created man, and and they're saying that, that man says that he has created himself. But God created man, then man was given. Choose this day. Change your mind, change your world. They became makers of themselves, but they were already created by God. And I just wanted to clear that up because because I say that, you know, quite often, and, and they, they mistake what I say. After being created by God, yes, you have a valid say, and your world reflects that valid say. And we're told every word must be accounted for. People make the mistake of ego for a friend, do you think? I absolutely agree. And a lot of times we don't even realize that we have ego for a friend. Would you agree? Yes, yes, that's right. That's right. It is. That's it. Just being aware, just be making yourself aware. That that is really very important because if you're not aware, you, you're not you're not actually getting the essence of the, of the messages that that you're receiving. You, you may receive all sorts of messages from all sorts of people, even even in the field of religion, but. You see, you you have to experience it first person. And they're telling you, and most of them are probably telling you correctly, but you have to express it first person because as you're impressed, you express. So if you're busy impressing yourself with better attitudes, better ideas, better assumptions, better moods, you'll have a better life, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. So as we're talking about God creating man and giving us to choose this day. I want to step into our subject today, and the subject is your future is now. You often say we're always thinking ahead of our evidence. If that's true, whatever our future is going to be is based off what we're thinking now. Would you agree? That's it. That's it. You got it. You nailed it. <laughs> It's going to be exactly that. And that's the reason why that you got to be aware of what you're thinking about. Because thinking makes it so. You understand that thinking actually creates your world of experiencing through your imaginal activity. Because imagination is God in man. And he's telling you, choose this day. And if you're not enjoying life, then you're not choosing correctly, are you? That's true. We're not. So why is it so many of us procrastinate thinking that we can put off our future? It's a matter of believing. You know, that, that's, that's where it really stands. It's, it's what you believe. If you actually believe that the future is coming out of your own mouth, I mean, come on. you you, you kind of watch it better, wouldn't you? I think you would. I think you would. And so I guess you're correct that most people... It's like the two gentlemen talking at the table, or yeah. like most of us in these forums or in these different groups, we give lip service, and we say that we believe these truths, but the truth of the matter is we really don't. Otherwise, we would be more accountable to what it is that we say. Would you agree? Absolutely. It, it, it's doubt, you see. They doubt themselves, and never would often repeat something that I really felt I needed to hear. And that is man's faith in God is measured by his confidence in himself. Because when I first heard this, I, I had no confidence at all, really. Oh, ego, but, but not confidence. There is, a, there is a difference, you know. <laughs> but, but you see, that, that, that's what you want to keep an eye on, what, what you're actually talking about, because 
that's what you're eventually going to be experiencing. Like I said, if, if you can't handle monsters, don't, don't dream them up. So as we're talking about doubt, doubt really becomes the only devil. Would you agree? Yes, 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 yes. And you have the doubt. If you have the doubt, then you're, you're entertaining the devil. Isn't that what it is? That actually is. And let's not, uh, for those who are listening, let's not get caught up in this proverbial devil out there. What yes. we're saying is that the thoughts that you give doubt to, those are the things that are going to undo the thing that you're trying to manifest. Would you agree? That's it. It's ego. See, e ego uses all manner of ideas, attitudes, assumptions to, to lure you to think as he thinks because he thinks he's right. And actually, he is for him. But that's not you. That's only actually body talking because you got, you're not using your mind. Your mind disagrees with that. And, and it, it, it's not going to change easy, I'll tell you that. I, we, we say change your mind, change your world. But you see, the only thing you have to change is your mind. That changes your world. And you can change your mind, get new mindset, because they operate automatically. Actually, that's, that's the way it works. If you have the mindset that will remind you, you're, you're, on, you're on guard then, you're on track. But if you have the mindsets that give you doubt, well, well, then, as you think you are, isn't that it? That is it. And I like that you said earlier, ego is right for him, her, at the moment. That's operating in the drama man. If you want to keep reproducing more of the experience in the drama man, then keep living from the place of ego because, of course, as Henry Ford says, whether you think you can do a thing or you can't do a thing, you're correct. And so if ego believes that the world has to operate from the place of drama man, and as Jesus says, be in the world but not of the world, so when ego is right, you're still operating from a mass mind reasoning drama man mindset. Would you agree? You know, you have to catch yourself. You're either... Setting yourself up or setting yourself free with every word you speak. I know that sounds like an awful burden to put on somebody that they got to watch what they say so closely. But you see, it's only for a short time because once you, once you catch yourself actually setting yourself up and recognize it, you see, that, that's a, a whole change of, of that menu of your of your thinking and feeling. And, and it will continue to change according to how much attention you give to the better ideas. If you're thinking negatively, it, that grows also. I mean, it expands and expands because wh when you're thinking negative, the negative is being fed by other thoughts and it, it expands and expands. But so does happy, so does lovely and of good report, it expands also in the same way. That's why you're told you have a choice. He didn't say you have a better choice this way or a better choice that way. He gave you choose this day. And he tells you, look, I'm suffering with you, but you hold me not. So watch what you say, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Absolutely. So in going back to watch what you say, what we're asking the listeners to do is to be more aware, because as you said so often, your say is in fact a valid say, and that say is whatever it is that you're saying to yourself at the moment. Would you agree? Yes, you know, you, you get caught up in, in things that really, actually, as I discovered, it really weren't in any of your business. If you're focusing on yourself, and someone says, well, what is that, just me, me, me stuff, that's right. For a time, that's exactly what it is. Because until you straighten out your thinking, you can't help somebody else straighten out theirs. So it is a me, me, me thing for at the time. But it is a self in self and risen drama. So 
So every time you make a, 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 any kind of a success, take credit for it. Actually, give yourself a thumbs up, a handshake, or whatever, but recognize that you did something beneficial. Because if you're only recognizing how you screwed up, <laughs> you just you just screwing yourself up even more, aren't you? Absolutely, and it goes back to a story I've told uh, sometime back when I was working at uh, when I was working in corporate America. I had a peer of mine. The guy was a pretty smart guy, but he would always kind of put himself down. So one day we were doing some work on a project. And he said to himself, he said, you're so stupid. And I told him, I said, don't talk to my friend like that, you know. And we both had a laugh, but he got the point. Sometimes we're our own worst critic. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. We are, even when we're sure we're not. (laughs) But remember this. You're told, blessed is the man that does not condemn himself for that which he has allowed. See? You're given an out. You're always given an out. He's looking for you to see it for yourself. Because then there will be no doubt if you see it for yourself. And it is shown to you, but you're not recognizing it because it's all about you. Look, if, if you just look around a room, you see, what, thousands of items, and every one of them have one thing in common they were first only imagined. That was it. They were first imagined. As you imagine, that's how you decorate your world. That's how you, you make all of the situations that you're involved in through imagination. But what are you imagining yourself doing, being, having? And it's assumed that if, if you're the one jo- choosing, you, you'll choose what you want what you really want to experience, and think upon that. That would be lovely and a good report, wouldn't it? Absolutely. I like that you said that everything that you see, and you were looking at your immediate room, Hmm? but the essence was everything that you see in your world was first imagined. And it goes back to what I said earlier, the the, um, subject title, Your Future is Now. A lot of you are putting off the things that you desire or want to be, do, have, and you keep saying tomorrow, and you're not imagining for yourself a better future. And as Mr. Lindell said, you know, everything that is created in your life starts off in your imagination. Neville would often say, imagine better than the best you know. Would you agree? Yes, I remember that what you think about you is really very important to you. It, it's you investing in yourself that makes you the makers of yourself. But you didn't create yourself. You were given creative choice. Choose this day. And according to what you're choosing, that's what you're experiencing, isn't it? Absolutely. You said earlier, you said how the manifestation comes about isn't any of your business. But when you have successes, celebrate those successes. Would you agree? Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, if you're not on your own side, (laughs) see, that's what Neville told me. You don't sound like you're on your own side. And yeah, that was absolutely true. You see, we're given, we're given to forgive ourselves 70 times 7. <laughs> and like I said, most days I use them all up. Yeah. <laughs> it goes back again, what you said a moment ago about self-condemnation. Yeah. You know, and often people will say piously, you know, you know, I know God's forgive me, but I can't forgive myself, you know, and that's kind of pompous because, you know, if God's forgiving you, you know, are you greater than God? That's celebration. <laughs> and that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be celebrating life, not wallowing in it. 
Because most of the world is suffering. I mean, desperate suffering. And it's all because of ideas they have accepted and feel that they're under obligation to for some reason or another. And that is the case in some of the countries. But it's an attitude of mind that is accepted and that is accepted and accepted over and over as what can I do. And that's exactly it. What can you do? Everything. You can do everything because you're given choice to choose this day. And it's always this day. This day is always this day. Every day is this day. It's not a yesterday. It's not a tomorrow. It's today. Choose today. What? What is your dream? Dream the dream, you're told, because you are dreaming. This is a dream. And all you're talking is actually praying, because you're told it is. Praying ceaselessly, you are. Rather, you're aware of it or not, and now we're right back to being aware. And that's what this is all about, is just being more aware, isn't it? It is. You know, and I like that you spoke of suffering, and you said suffering, in essence, is an ideal that we accepted by the world, society, selves, you know, wherever we got these ideals. And the ideal said that this is how life should be, in essence. And you said, but we have been given choice to choose this day. Would you agree? And, like I said, it's always this day, right? Absolutely. Your future's now. And now is the only time there is, isn't it? There is. That's it. You're breathing now, not yesterday or the day coming. You're breathing right now. You're alive now. And what you're saying with your say while you're alive is being created for you through subconscious mind, which accepts your model of your world and produces it in detail. So all I have to say is the same thing was said to me. Watch your mouth. (laughs) You know, we're talking about um, being mindful of thoughts. And recently I had ordered something online. And when I got the item, I was sadly disappointed uh, in the um, shape that the product was in. So I went about to do an exchange or a refund. But when I went back to look at the small print, the small print said, of course, the item could only be returned by the buyer being me. The problem was it would have cost more to send it back than to keep it. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to reach out to the seller and I'm going to envision a beneficial outcome. (laughs) And you said earlier, mind your business. And what I mean by bringing that up is I wasn't going to determine what God did as the positive outcome. My goal was only to see the positive outcome. And at the end of the transaction, the person actually refunded me the money and told me to keep the product. (laughs) What else? I mean, what else? You see... You get what you expect, not necessarily what you want. And if you expect it, it's yours, right? Absolutely. And I want to add a caveat there. Initially, I was going to just, first of all, I was going to write it off and just take the loss. The other thing was I was going to begin trying to negotiate with the person, and Spirit told me to shut my mouth. (laughs) And through the salvation of the Lord. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You know, the thing of it is, is that we, we, we do mistake ego for being a friend. And, and, and he's not. He doesn't really care what happens to you as long as you want to play along with them and feel guilty. See? And that's all you have to do is feel guilty and ego takes control. 
and you're not to feel guilty, you're for, to forgive yourself. And if God told you to forgive yourself, well, why, why would you even wait anything? Isn't, does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. And I think, like I said earlier, I think a lot of times people think that there's some piety in saying, I can't forgive myself even though God's forgiven me. Would you agree? Yeah, that, that, that's ego again. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's all it is. See, he's, he's, he uses every, old, every opportunity, every opening to give you the false information so that you'll feel guilty, so that you'll feel out of place, so that you won't be functioning the way you should be functioning because you're thinking about something that really is none of your business. And, and to tell you the truth, the negative is not your business. You can make it your business because you have choice, but it, it really is none of your business to be judgmental about anything because if God gave those people choose this day and they are choosing what you don't think is proper, that's judgment and and. and it isn't judging other people that's important. It's judging yourself, and that is what you're doing, and that is your downfall. Stop judging yourself. Stop seeing how other people look and feel and act and then kind of and to take up with it. Because it's as you think you are. And even if it was somebody else's idea... As long as you're thinking it, it's your idea. You take possession of it. And that all the thoughts that come through your head in the course of a day is thousands. But what ones attract your attention? Because those are the ones you're going to experience in your world. And if it's a negative, well, you'll experience the negative. And you'll experience the negative over and over and over until you change your mind to change your world about what you're thinking about. Isn't that the way it works? It's exactly the way it works. And, you know, I love what you said. Um, in essence, you said the judgment of others is a judgment of self. If God has given them liberty in whatever aspect of their life, don't look down upon them. Don't cast stones at them because God has given them choose you this day. Your responsibility is your choosing for today. And if you're judging them, you're judging yourself. Very powerful. That's it. That's exactly right. You're always judging yourself because that's the one. That is the one. Jesus told you, I and my Father are one even as you and I are one. One. It's all one. And if you really can see the essence of what was said, that it is one, then what do you have against anybody then? God's operating. I mean, this is, this is all working for the positive. Even though we may go sit in the darkness and, and make monsters, it's still everything is for your learning. But it isn't actually a learning, it's remembering that you were given a choice to choose your day. And if you're not enjoying your day, then you're not choosing correctly. Isn't that all there is to it? That's exactly what it is. If you understand it rightly, you're given choice to choose. What are you choosing? And I like that you said, you know, again, about the judgment and the forgiving. If we go back to Scripture and it says, if you do not forgive your brother, sister, his or her trespassing, your Heavenly Father, God, will not forgive you your trespassing. Understand, it's not that God is holding anything against you, but it goes back to what Mr. Linda said a moment ago. If you're not forgiving others, you can't forgive yourself. So you're the God who's choosing not to forgive. Would you agree? That's it. That's it. That's, that's what you're told to look deep within yourself. You see, the, the problem I had was that I was shallow. 
Everything that they were talking about was, oh, oh, so deep and so deep. But it isn't. It's right where you are. Omnipresence will answer any question to you, for you, if you'll ask it, believing you'll receive an answer, and you will. But you have to be still. You're not going to be interrupted by God. He gave you to choose this day, and you're doing so with the power. Not a power, not a little power, but a power, the power. So, do so. And do so frequently. Because that's how you're creating your world. You're thinking ahead of your evidence. Isn't that what it is? That's exactly what it is. And you said something a moment ago. You said that when you started your journey, you would say that it was so deep. And you said, no, it wasn't so deep, that I, but I was so shallow. And the truth is, this truth is very simple. But we're trying to process this simple truth using mass mind reasoning. Would you agree? Yes, that's it. That's it. You know, look, look, whatsoever is what you're given to choose from. So that means whatsoever allows you to imagine what you want. And if you're imagining you doing, being, and having now, in mind, in imagination, in the theater of mind, seeing yourself doing, being, having, your ideal, your dream, your mission, whatever it is, if you'll continue in that mood, you don't be seen it all the time, but if you'll continue in that mood, even though you're going through your daily whatever your responsibilities are, but you have a mood of this is who I am now. And it, and see yourself doing and being it once in a while. And you will be doing it. As a matter of fact, you'll actually be doing your dream quite a while before you recognize you're actually in your dream. And you, <laughs> it's like, wow, it's already here. He tells you just be patient with yourself. That that That's all there is to it, is really just being patient with yourself. And I know first person that that was really an extreme thing to do for the general public. Because it was a terrible, terrible thing for me to actually be still. Because I was constantly blaming myself. You see, and, and that's what you're not to do. You start blaming yourself, and you beat yourself up over over nothing, and that's what it, that's what you create nothing, because you're not thinking properly, and you're given to think properly. And if you're told to think properly, then you are able to think properly because who told you to do so? God. And I believe God. I believe His promises. I ask people all the time, you believe in God? Yes. Do you believe his promises? And then there's kind of a pause there. And yeah, I believe in God, see, that, but that wasn't the question. And they don't realize they're denying themselves by not answering it correctly, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, absolutely. And it goes back to, of course, in the doubt, brings about the erroneous or negative manifestation. It goes back to the person who says, I told you that wasn't going to work out. I told you that wasn't going to work. You manifest accordingly to your beliefs. Would you agree? Yes. We were all conditioned out of our minds nearly as little children. And we don't have the knowledge that you're giving to them right now that they do have the ability, which isn't even a in question, to do the thing you're told to do. Be still and know that I'm God. With you always, will never leave you, omnipresent. If you do this continually, you will be answered in ways unexplainable at the moment. But it will happen if you allow it to happen to ask. 
And that's what you're told to do. You're told you receive not because you ask not. So start asking. <laughs> what would you say? I would. 